For the very first time in Karnataka's history, the villages have spoken beautifully and also paid up. The state collected 1,237 crore rupees in rural property taxes. And it's actually all thanks to a quiet, tech-powered transformation. This is Front Page and you are getting to this first here. In an exclusive interview with AIM TV, the IT Minister of Karnataka, Mr. Priyank Kharge said, We were able to get in over a crore properties inside within the tax ambed now. And that has resulted in ensuring that uh, we have, for the first time in the history of Karnataka, that uh, we were able to collect 1,237 crores as taxes from rural areas. And this uh, money is not coming to the government, it's going to stay there. This isn't just a database upgrade, it's actually a shift in governance. Every digitized village now has transparent meetings, e-attendance systems, 160 plus citizen services at their doorstep. And the most surprising part, AI is doing all of the heavy lifting. So now we have gone beyond that. We have an AI chatbot. You can use your WhatsApp and you can get the proceedings of your village on your phone. So it's uh, completely uh, driven in Canada and in English. Even if you are not comfortable with typing, you can leave a voice message, you can send a picture. So we have ensured that what was there on a desktop is right now is now available on your mobile. Over 6 lakh villagers now use it monthly. This is AI for Bharat and not a pitch tech fantasy, but a working model. And that's just actually the start. Karnataka's AI deployment is turning real problems into real solutions. So let's run through what they actually are. AI for agriculture fraud detection. We are using AI to determine crop losses, uh, whether the crop losses pictures that are coming to us are genuine or not. Sometimes it's photo uh, shopped oh and God. everything. AI for real estate tax leakages. Help us determine whether we are getting the actual revenues that we are supposed to be. So let's say somebody has built uh, four floors but are paying only for three floors. AI plus drones for traffic management. We have developed a drone with uh, smart tech which analyzes the length of the pileup and uh, suggests deviation. AI in digital forensics. Digital forensics, we are uh, trying to uh, figure out how to use them. AI against misinformation. During the parliament elections, uh, trying to track misinformation, we created a very tight-knit cell called Information Disorder Tracking Unit, who used uh, algorithms or AI. We were able to detect over uh, 700,000 uh, such misinformation during a very short period of three weeks or four weeks or something like that. While other states debate pilot projects, Karnataka is running live systems. From AI chatbots for villagers to smart surveillance for cities. This is governance in the age of machine learning. And here's the clincher. That 1,237 crore rupees I mentioned doesn't actually go back to Vidhan Sauda. It actually stays in the villages to fund roads, schools and local infrastructure. And this money is not coming to the government. It's going to stay there for economic progression of the local areas of the panchayats. So in a world obsessed with billion dollar unicorns, this may be just India's most meaningful AI story yet. Karnataka didn't wait for the future. It built one and more importantly, made it rural. If you want more insights by the IT minister himself in person, visit Cypher 2025, India's biggest AI summit and expo at KTPO Whitefield, Bangalore from 17th to the 19th of September 2025. Get set because that's where the AI magic begins. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share, subscribe. And always remember, think AI, think rural, think AIM.